What is up guys and welcome to Foxtel Outdoors. My name is Jeff. I'm going to show you guys how I'm rebuilding my fleshing beam because last season when I decided to start trapping, season was already right around the corner and I had to rush to get something together. So I just slapped something together with some scrap wood. Didn't do a great job on it. So now here it is August. I wanted to rebuild this stand and make it last for a very long time. Hope you guys enjoy and find it useful. So essentially uh, this, this cross member will fit up in there just like so. And there will be a little overhang in the back, which I'm perfectly fine with. Um, the idea behind this triangle frame is I will have the main beam that my uh, fleshing beam is on. I'll have another support board right here so that that beam can rest on top of that. And if I choose to do so, if I need the extra counterweight, I can always set cinder blocks on each side of that beam board. I just need to secure this with some good screws and then we'll be ready to move on to the next step. I made these saw horses earlier today. If you guys are interested in that video, check out the Homestead channel. I made them on there. There'll be a link in the description below. Okay, so I pre-drilled my holes. I think I may actually add an, uh, a 2 by 4 This is from the uh, sawhorse build earlier this morning. I very well may use this as an additional support beam. And then whenever I uh, create the vertical board to help support the fleshing beam board, I can attach it in two places. Now for when I screw in this uh, three by two and a half, I will pre-drill these holes. This is red oak. It's very hard to drill through. It's hard to hammer through. It's just good hard wood.
So that completes the base part of our structure. Now we just have to get the fleshing beam board and then the uh, flesh beam board support. So the flesh, uh, the fleshing beam board support will go just about like that. And it'll be cut at a 45 degree angle here. That way it can accommodate that fleshing beam board. So here's my homemade fleshing beam. I just kind of threw it together last year. It's going to be the same design. I'm actually going to reuse the fleshing beam board and then I have some reshaping to do on my fleshing beam as marked by those black lines. I want to reshape it. Okay, so I have my fleshing beam and the original board. Basically, I'm going to try and get a, uh, a mock fit here. Figure out exactly how tall I need this. So right about here, I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna give it a little extra length, and then I'll recheck it. It'd be a lot easier if I had a helper. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now I'm going to cut my support board here at a 45 degree angle. That way it fits nicely behind the flushing bean board. I just made marks on this uh, two by four here just to kind of help me align this support board at the dead center of it. So now I'm gonna pre-drill two holes and maybe one down into this two and a half by three. Like a rock. Absolutely perfect. What we want. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, whenever you can make something with your own hands, you want it to last forever. And this is gonna last a long time. I just need to pre-drill some holes and then we will secure this thing.
yeah, just a touch. All right, folks, so I just wanted to show you guys how I was going to make my new fleshing beam stand. The base is the most important part of any build. I made this out of scrap two and a half by three inch boards, and then for the rest of the construction, just two by fours. If you guys have any questions or if you have any suggestions on how to make this a little bit better without running up the cost, let me know in the comment section. If you're interested in how I made these homemade saw horses, check the link uh, that's on the second channel, the Family Homestead channel. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Fox Hell Outdoors. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it useful. Have a good one, guys.